is unlike any nun you've ever met. And she's got a secret. How come the nuns were never secret hookers when we were in school? Let's see what's under that wig. Oh, hell no! Say a prayer for Sister Sugar Walls. Oh, we're definitely seeing that. She is unlike any nun you've ever met, and she's got a secret. How come the nuns were never secret hookers when we were in school? Let's see what's under that wig. Oh, hell no! Say a prayer for Sister Sugar Walls. Well, we're definitely seeing that. May 25th, 1986. Today is a big day. Last summer, I was too scared to ask out Melody Barney, the raddest woman I ever met. But this morning, I invited her to the movies, and she said, Okay. Seriously? Uh, hold on one second. Cool. I'll see you at the 4.30 movie, Melody Barney. I'll see you at the 4.30 movie. Holy shit, Billy Idol, when's the white wedding? I've been thinking about asking Melody out all year. We made out in her pool last summer. One time, with your shirt on. And you wonder why you don't get laid. I don't get laid because I'm Catholic. We'll save seats, you get snacks. You can't give them cutsies when they go back. I'll tell my dad. I don't care what you tell your dad, little kid. Dad, he showed me his privates. He did what? I, I... You disgust me! Get up. You three stooges are banned for life! Fuck my left nut! Not today! So much drama. I thought we're supposed to be seeing a comedy. Oh my god! Hoorah! What in the damn hell? What about me? Jesus Christ! Most people come to movies to escape their lives, but people like you come here because movies make life make sense. You're the coolest girl I ever met. And all I want to do is watch movies with you. Is that so? Mom? What the hell are you doing sneaking into R-rated movies? You're in trouble, Missy. I'm terrified by what's about to happen. What do you want to do? Have sex and get pregnant. That'll show her. If that's what you need. You remember Rocky IV? Yeah. When he just, like, punched him so hard. Yeah. Remember that? It's the climax. He climaxed? Over. Is there a production that's a go? We uh, were in the process uh, of uh, this movie called the 430 movie. I bought my childhood uh, hometown movie theater uh, and we renamed it Smod Castle Cinemas and so that happened last year in October. So once I bought a movie theater I was like well that's a viable set so I wrote a movie based in a movie theater and uh, it's not a lot of people like so it's like clerks in a movie theater like ushers? No. It's set in 1986 and it's about my favorite childhood pastime, which was paying for one movie and then jumping from one movie to the other, sneaking into other movies and stuff. So it's a mini multiplex. Um, our biggest screen is 230 seats. Our smallest screen is 99 seats. So I wrote this movie called The 430 Movie about how we used to spend our days in the summer of 86. And um, we were very, very close to going. Our pre-production was about to officially start. I think it was July 7th. And then the looming strike, first the Writers Guild strike, but it had already been written. And I'm a, as, even though I'm a Writers Guild member, I'm also a DGA member as well as a SAG member. So I was like, when you get the money, when you're an independent filmmaker, I don't work for the AMPTP or any AMPTP companies. So if you get money, you go. Um, the SAG strike definitely set us back. So right now we've, we're on hold for, it, we pushed our start date by two weeks because we applied for the waiver. SAG just issued 39 waivers to indie productions, couple A24 productions, anything that's not AMPTP because we're not who they're after. We're not part of the problem. Um, so there are 39 productions that were close to being done, or one week out, two days out from being finished. That first round, they got their waivers. So we've applied for our waiver, and we're waiting on word. And once you get that, if you get that, once you get that, you'll hope to start what, maybe later this, maybe? It would be, hopefully by September 1st, we could start. Okay. 